guys welcome back to my channel today i have a big black friday and pre-black friday haul for all of you i have some clothes tons of makeup and some home decor items so we have a pretty big haul and as jacqueline hill would say grab yourself a snack your favorite beverage today we are drinking peppermint cream cold brew you just order the vanilla sweet cream cold brew and sub out vanilla for peppermint and it's really tasty All right, let's get into the haul. Everything that I can link will be linked below in case you wanna pick any of this up for yourself or for a Christmas gift. So first, let's start with clothes. I got a bunch of things from Victoria's Secret. The weekend before Thanksgiving, they were having this huge sale and they had some really good deals. I've been wanting um, some more leggings and things like that. So um, I picked a bunch of stuff at Victoria's Secret. I got this Sherpa jacket. They were on sale for $35, which I thought was a really good price. I also loved this camel color. I thought it was really beautiful, perfect for those of us that live in chilly climates. You can just wear like a thin shirt underneath and then top it off with this. It's like a, the perfect fit, honestly. It's not too bulky. I hate when these like Sherpa jackets are like huge and big and like unflattering, um, but this one is really nice. It feels super, super soft. And I just love the way it looks. I think it's great to wear with leggings or if you're going to the gym to throw this on over like your workout outfit and it will keep you warm. So I think it can really be twofold. It can keep you warm and it also is pretty stylish. The next thing I picked up were these adorable leggings. They were only 20 bucks. They have that like really flattering, um, like crisscross thing going on in the front. I've been really wanting a pair like this and they're just plain black. They're buttery soft. They feel as soft as Lululemon to me. I've been wearing Victoria's Secret leggings for years since high school and I still have a bunch of them. And that's been like seven years at this point. So Victoria's Secret, I feel like has such good quality for leggings and Honestly, I guarantee you these will last so long. They're super flattering and super comfortable. I got size medium for reference. And then I also got a pair of the flared leggings, i.e. yoga pants. Speaking of which, I wish I would have kept all of my yoga pants from high school. I got rid of them all because they were out of style for so long, but now they're back in style. And I wanted a pair because I think this is like really cute if you wanna wear it with like a crop top or more of like a tight fitting shirt up top. Whereas leggings, I feel like you have to really wear them with like oversized sweaters or shirts. Um, but I thought this would be perfect with like a little cropped sweatshirt. And I've already worn them once. They're super comfy, super flattering, especially around the waist. Love the high waisted detail. Um, they are a little bit long, like even on me. So if you are shorter, um, I probably wouldn't get these because I'm a little bit over 5'7". So um, like I said, they were pretty long even on me, but more so like a good length, like not too long, but definitely if you're on the shorter side, they'd probably be too long for you. And then this was the one item I got for free shipping, which was kind of a miss. And that's this um, red t-shirt bra it's like really really light and soft and hardly gives you any support it's also like a little bit tight in my opinion because it was only like small medium or large so I don't know I got a really good deal on it it was like only eight bucks so I'm still gonna keep it it's just not my favorite bra ever okay moving on to makeup um, I'm actually gonna show you guys what I picked up at the Sephora sale first I did get the Laneige lip sleeping mask in the gingerbread flavor I really wanted the peppermint but they were all sold out but I do like the gingerbread. It's a nice, subtle holiday scent. And then of course I picked up some more Estee Lauder Double Wear, favorite Holy Grail foundation. And then I picked up a whey shampoo, but I didn't want to bring it into this video because it was in my shower and it was kind of wet and gross. Anyway, moving on to the Alta haul. I got all of this um, either the day of Black Friday or the weekend before. Alta was having like an insane Black Friday sale like they always do. It's the best time to stock up on makeup in my opinion. Ulta's Black Friday sale is just unreal. Like, for example, I got the Ultra Repair Cream from First Aid Beauty. As you can see, this retails for $52. And on Black Friday, I got it for, I believe it was either $18 or $19. So, honestly, absolute steal. Um, I did get uh, the Pink Grapefruit scent. They only had it in one set on sale. I do prefer the original, but for this price, I was not passing this up. 
This is hands down like the most moisturizing hand cream ever and it's really great for sensitive skin. Also picked up a sugared vanilla soap. I think these were like $3.50. Um, so I think they were like 50 or 60% off. Great deal. Um, and I'm excited to try this out. I feel like Bath & Body Works soaps have gotten so expensive lately. So I was looking for some other brands to try out. And I also got a travel sized uh, First Aid Beauty Ultra Ultra Repair Hand Cream. Uh, this is in the candy cane scent. I thought this would be like perfect for traveling and super fun with it being a Christmas scent. These were also like 50% off. I got this It, it Cosmetics um, like bronzer, foundation brush. It's an angled brush. It was $10. This was another steal. I've been looking for a new bronzer brush because I just have a cheap one from Flower Beauty and I feel like it's too heavy and sometimes puts too much product on my face. So I really want to try this nicer one out from It Cosmetics. Mascaras were also a steal, high-end mascaras. Um, they were like all $10 and I picked up two of the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. This is my favorite mascara with being so fair and having really light blonde eyelashes. I really need a high quality mascara and this is hands down my favorite. Coming in close second is this one from Clinique. I do love the Clinique High Impact Mascara and when they're on sale for $10, that's just no doubt about it, a better deal than a drugstore mascara in my opinion. I also picked up a MAC lipstick. These were like, I think 30 or 40% off. So they weren't too discounted, but I really needed a new red lipstick for the holidays. And I've always wanted to try out Ruby Woo since that's like the classic MAC red lipstick. I've had other red lipsticks from MAC, which I've really liked, but I've never had Ruby Woo. So I wanted it considering my other red lipstick is like almost out. And then I did pick up a lip liner from Smashbox, a Be Legendary lip liner. And this one is in Fair Neutral Rose. I needed um, like a neutral everyday lip liner because I had been using the one from KKW, but it just breaks all the time. And I think it finally broke for good. So I really needed a new lip liner. And I think this was only like $12. It was also like a really good steal. And then I did pick this up uh, pre-Black Friday. I made a splurge and got the YSL Black Opium Perfume. I have been really on the hunt for a more wintry high-end perfume. I have a lot of summery high-end perfumes like from Gucci and Chanel, but nothing really for the winter. So I bit the bullet and bought this and it smells amazing. It doesn't last forever. I must say like Chanel and Gucci both last a lot longer at least in my opinion, um, but this does smell really good. It's like the perfect amount of sweetness. It's very sultry, but yet it's not overpowering. Like I think the Victor and Rolf flower bomb scents, I've had the samples from them, but never the full size. I feel like those perfumes are so unbelievably sweet and overpowering, whereas this perfume is not like that. And then Alta was also running a promotion where if you bought a fragrance, you got uh, free candles. Um, and they also had like a $20 off coupon. So that's actually why I bought the fragrance. It was just like a no brainer. Like you're getting stuff for free and you're getting money off and you're getting what you really wanted. Like, hello. Um, and I got these candles, like they're so beautiful and they smell really good. They're called Vanilla Glow, um, comes in a pack of three. So this just smells really clean and angelic and I thought it was beautiful. I might save them for next year or I don't know, maybe I'll give them as a gift to someone. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these, but I really like them and I think they were a great deal. I also randomly picked up a Bath & Body Works candle. They were on sale. I got the fresh I got the fresh balsam scent. I think this is my favorite packaging so far of this scent. I love the three Christmas trees on the white background, really classy and cute. And this just smells like fresh Christmas trees. The scent is just divine. And it's like maybe my favorite Bath & Body Works candle of like all time. Definitely of the Christmas scents. And I did pick up one more item. I told you I got home decor. And this is what I got. I got this really nice pillow from Macy's. Macy's was having some insane sales as well. Um... And this pillow was originally $75 and I got it for $27.99 and it's just super plush and I have one pillow like this on my bed but I wanted a second one so I ordered this and I really like it and I'm really excited because now I can finally take it out of the package and start using it. 
So that wraps up my Black Friday haul. Let me know, did you shop any sales? Did you get any deals? Oh, I also got one more thing, but it's not here yet. I forgot to mention, I got a bodysuit from Express, their body contour line. I got it in chocolate brown, and this may be the most impressive steal yet. Um, it was originally $34, then it was 60% off, and then I had a $10 off reward, so I ended up getting it for $7. And they had free shipping, so I got that on Cyber Monday, and this is like the Friday after Cyber Monday when I'm filming this. Um, so it hasn't come yet and I've been like putting off this video and trying to wait for it to come, but I won't have a video for this Sunday unless I filmed. So anyway, that's the story with that. But like I, like I was saying, let me know what you picked up for Black Friday. Um, did you do any shopping this year for yourself or did you just mostly buy gifts for other people? Um, let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Well, I'm all for Christmas